action. I have, I have, it's up to the library we go. I have, I have, it's up to the library we go. Hey! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Totally cranky. <laughs> but I like to play prankies. <laughs> you know, I know a lot about gnomes because I'm a gnome. <laughs> but maybe you at home don't know so much about gnomes. Well, I'm just going to tell you one interesting fact. Besides this beautiful white beard I have and this pointy hat, gnomes are mythical. Maybe garden creatures. So we live in gardens. So today we're going to talk a lot about gnomes, about ourselves, and try to put a positive fun spin on it, Crank. Do you know why <laughs> gnomes are a symbol of good luck in gardens? No. Right, Lee? Uh, it's because, well, you didn't know? I don't no. think most people know. It's a little gnome fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Crank! <laughs> so, I want to show you real quickly, if you don't have one of us at your house, you can create one. So zoom in over here. I have created a super duper garden gnome, and I've used some things at home, you guys. Um, hopefully, you don't use an outhouse, <laughs> that you have indoor I plumbing, do. and you have toilet paper tubes which have been scarce recently, mm -hmm. but now they're in abundance. So I have a toilet paper tube for the body of my gnome, and then I've cut out... Does he have a face? Oh, oh there he is. Oh, there he, you go. He didn't really want to see everybody. Well, I, wanted to, I wanted to get to know him. We kind of match. <laughs> yeah, you do. Your mm -hmm. colors, your hat, and your beard yeah. match. Mm -hmm. Crank. So I found some paper, uh, blue for his body. I'm going to glue that around my toilet paper tube like that and then I cut out a circle and if I roll my circle just tight enough like a cone like an ice cream cone it makes a hat and then I freehanded freehanded means I didn't use a stencil I just cut my own beard by iron what I got right here. So right I just is very artistic. I am very artistic. So I just made a U like that. And then I just cut out the center of my U. Ooh, watch your fingers, Bright. Yeah, be careful at home. You might want to let your mom or other grown up supervise you. And then I just did that Ooh. for his beard. Then I glued it on and I used a Sharpie. This cool Sharpie to <laughs> dot no, the no. eyes and the smile. <laughs> so, really quickly, I made this gnome, but you can use those little ice cream spoons, the wind ice cream spoons to make a gnome, and you can make cinnamon stick gnomes that look kind of like Santa. Ho, or even, ho, or even ho. a regular stick, right? Oh. You could use a regular stick. Use you your could. imagination. Gnomes have very good imagination. They do. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have a joke for me? Hey, Bright. Why don't gnomes tell gardening jokes? Why don't they? They're a little too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope. It's off to the story we go. Look at this, you guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a big fly. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Look at it. Look. Oh. Ooh, look at how big that is. Uh, uh, <laughs> gnomes like to eat flies. Oh, mm, not this gnome. I like flapjacks, bacon, <laughs> and <laughs> eggs. You're an unhealthy gnome. <laughs> I don't like flies. <laughs> okay, so this is how to grow happiness. Whew, my beard is a little hot today. <laughs> and, um... This is a Jerome the Gnome adventure. And guess what? You're going to meet or have a chance to meet Jerome in person. This is a Kelly DiPuccio book written by her. And 
illustrated by Matt Koffenberg and published by Rodal Kids. Warble flew through the Garden of Wonder into Jerome's open window. I brought you something special today, she chirped. What is that? Chirp, chirp. It's Warble. <laughs> Warble's here. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know Warble was joining us. <laughs> Jerome examined the tiny black seed resting on the window ledge. What kind of seed is that? Ooh, asked the curious inventor. Warble smiled proudly. It's a seed of happiness, she declared. Jerome, being a collector of treasures and trinkets, was very interested. He reached for a glass jar on the shelf and emptied the contents into his hands. I will trade you this bit of red yarn for that seed, he said to his small friend. Warble looked pleased. That yarn will be perfect for my spring nest, she sang. Thank you. She scooped up her new treasure and flew away. Bye, Warble. Bye. What you gonna do with that string? My nest. Oh. <laughs> Jerome dropped the seed into his empty jar and he sat at his table waiting to feel happy. When nothing happened, he tapped impatiently on the glass. Ding, ding, ding. Still nothing. Jerome became frustrated and shook the jar. The tiny seed bounced up and down, but Jerome didn't feel a hint of happiness. He turned to Opie, his pet acorn. <laughs> I forgot that one. <laughs> a squirrel. A squirrel stole it. <laughs> Squirreled it. I think Warble gave me a broken seed, he grumbled. A broken seed? Where? asked Nutilda as she burst through the front door. Beamer, the robot, followed close behind. Jerome showed his jar with the seed inside to his friends. It's not broken, insisted Beamer. He pointed to his solar panel. It just needs a little sun to work, like me. He could be right, said the squirrel. Jerome agreed. He took his jar outside, placed the seed on a rock in the hot sun, and counted to 10. He sighed loudly. I'm still not feeling happy. Neither am I, snapped Sir Surly. Hey, do you know Sir Surly, Crank? <laughs> oh, right here, I do, there he is. Surly and Crank are kind oh, of yeah. close <laughs> and mean. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you woke me up for my nap, and that seed of yours is getting too hot. It needs water. <gasps> of course, Jerome said to the turtle. Why didn't I think of that? He tossed the seed into the pond. Good heavens, cried Sherwin Wigglesworth, inching his way toward the shore. Not that much water. Do you have Sherman Wigglesworth? Yes. Is that him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. <laughs> the worm climbed up on the rock. I know a thing or two about gardening, he boasted. Your seed needs dirt, but not just any dirt. Dirt with eggshells, coffee grinds, and banana peels. Hey, I didn't know. Hey, Craig, you got all that? No. Use your imagination. <laughs> Use your imagination. Jerome smirked. Who knew a little seed could eat so much? He fished the seed out of the pond and then covered it with dirt and his morning trash. Aroma joined the skunk. Oh, here comes Aroma. <laughs> Aroma the skunk. <laughs> That's so cute. What is everyone looking at, she asked. Warble gave Jerome a broken seed of happiness and we're trying to fix it, Nutilda explained to the skunk. We've tried sun, said Beamer, and water, said Sir Surly, and dirt, said Sherwin. But I still don't feel very happy, Jerome complained. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling angry with Warble for taking my red yarn and giving me a worthless seed. Aww. Oh dear, whimpered Aroma, accidentally spraying her scent. Aroma didn't care for unpleasant situations. They made her nervous. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be around Aroma when she's nervous. <laughs> Glinda, the butterfly fairy, fluttered over to the troubled group. You all forgot this. Oh, oh, I thought that was Aroma. <laughs> fluttered over to the troubled group. You all forgot something important, she chimed in. What's that, asked Jerome, feeling more discouraged than ever. Love. The best things always grow from 
love. Prank, did you know that? I did. Disappearing over the bramble bush. Jerome thought about what Glinda said. He suddenly felt compassion for the tiny helpless seed who must be feeling lonely, buried beneath the heap of dirt and trash. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, he told his friends. Jerome returned with a jar filled with his favorite stones. He placed the stones around his makeshift garden. Oh, Crank, you're making a heart. Mm -hmm. Huh. He placed the stones around his makeshift garden. There, Jerome smiled. I must admit, I'm feeling a teensy bit happy. Teensy bit. Jerome tended to his seed every day, making sure it got just the right amount of sun, water, food, and love. He watched a short green sprout grow into a long green vine. Crank, you did it! As this vine grew, his happiness grew and grew until one day, friends, Jerome called out cheerfully, come quickly. Jerome's friends gathered around him. Look, he exclaimed, pointing to the garden. The tiny black seed had grown into a giant green watermelon. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Jerome apologized to Warble. It's okay, said the bird. Sometimes growing happiness takes a little hard work and patience, Crank, and sun, and water, and dirt, and love. Don't forget love and aroma. The friends laughed, enjoyed a summer picnic in the Garden of Wonder, and they each went home that day with their own seeds of happiness. Crank, are you smiling? I am. I'm forcing it, but I'm just <laughs> like, make me smile. Aww. Just a little love, and we grew that beautiful watermelon. Mm -hmm. I love you, Craig. Maybe I love you too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, back to the. Uh, uh, yeah, back uh, to the. Uh, okay. Um, right? Yeah. It does make me feel generous and happy. But you look a little thirsty. Really? Yeah, you want a drink? No. Yes, you do. Right over here. <laughs> oh, I do. Unscrew the top. You look really thirsty. Go ahead. We'll move this. Um, yes, friends, go ahead. Do I want to unscrew this? Yes, one? you really do. That's a good idea. Oh, oh my God. I like to do pranks. A little science. A little science. Look at that. She loosens it. The air pressure. It's like a yeah, it is. Gets greater. Look at that. But when you tighten it, then what happens? It stops. The air pressure is more on the outside, so then it stops. So yes. you know what? If you don't have a pool at home, mm -hmm. you could cool off like that. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can also do that. Put holes all over it. Hook it up to a garden hose and have a sprinkler. Yeah. Crank. That's so cool. I know. See, I'm not cranky all the time. Just Sometimes I'm cranky. I know. I like cranky crank. <laughs> Next. You're going to show think, us the teepee. Yes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I apologize ahead of time. I am not an expert at making gnome home teepees. I tried. I got four sticks and I lashed them together at the top and then I used really pretty colorful yarn it's and beautiful. wrapped around, wrapped around. I didn't finish all the way because my sticks keep getting tighter and tighter together. Then I did something unusual. I read the directions. <laughs> and the directions say to cut out a little piece of cardboard and put four slits in there so that you can hold the sticks uh, separate while you do it. Would have made a big difference. So that's the way you actually do it. I tried again and still didn't have much luck. Um, but I did my four sticks and I, I got it started. We will give you woo, we will give you directions for a, a gnome. gnome home teepee. teepee. That would be really cute to make your own gnome garden. Yeah. And can I talk about this? Yes. One? Okay. So to help you get started, starting today, you may come to the library and ask for your own bag uh, that will have a few supplies in it. All of them will have 
uh, one, two, three, four tongue depressors, Five, six. Uh, six, six tongue depressors, to make your own gnome door that you could put against, I don't know, your, a tree or somewhere in your garden to make it look like that's where the gnome lives. Well, they do live there, actually, huh? Yeah, perfect size. And then you, get a, you can decorate it yourself, glue it together, and you get a little pom-pom for the door handle. You also get a few other surprises in here. Yeah. Should I show them? For your gnome home. I'll just show you one of them. Well, Ooh. please remember that each bag each is different. Each bag is different. Yeah. This one just happens to have a seashell. <gasps> That's perfect for Wouldn't it. that like be cool? Water, Put water, next, uh -huh. to our, next yep. to our gnome and, home. And you could even make you could make your own little bird like warbler uh -huh. and put it on there out of yeah. clay or something. Or aroma could have a drink. Oh, yes. And this one has a little owl in it. Too. So each one, some have chairs, some have toadstools, all different. Come Frank, and ask like, and we will hand this. Do you like my owl sound? I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's authentic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't forget Jerome. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's time to meet Jerome. This Remember? is the cherry on top for our presentation. Remember Jerome from the, the book. <laughs> we have a new kit that you may ask to check out and you may keep it for two day, two weeks. This is called Jerome the Gnome. This is his little carrot. Well, it looks like his suitcase, kind of. All right, here's pictures of his adventures that he's had at the library. When you check it out, you can read those. <laughs> he's and been this, busy. <laughs> this is Jerome. He's already writing about adventures in people's houses. This is Jerome's bed. He's got a little pillow and a blanket. He'll sleep here, but hopefully when he's at your house, he'll go on adventures. You can take pictures and write stories. You know where I would take Jerome? Where? To Dairy Queen. Oh, good idea. Or Dairy Delight. Yeah. Or gnomes love ice cream. Or Menchie's. Yep. Or Ooh, yeah. Or uh, Mary's Brent Mountain has Cookies. A sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably say hi to Or Be Sweet or Gypsy Cupcakes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> and I would take them for salad. I know. I know. Aww. <laughs> Here's where you can write your stories. Here's the notebook where you can put pictures that you take, and whenever, when it's your turn, you can fill up one of these protective covers and put whatever you'd like in there. You can add to this. You can use your imagination. We can't wait for Jerome to come back each time so we can read about his adventures. So it's kind of like Flat Stanley, but this is Jerome the Gnome in your home. Oh, so fun, Crank. Does that bring a smile to your face, too? No. <laughs> Do you have any more pranks, Jerome? No, I'm Or I'm, I'm sorry, Craig. I'm, I'm Frank. Please. <laughs> I'm out of pranks. I'm out of jokes. I'm out of energy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining us for our SLP finale. Woo! -hoo! Woo! We made it. I can't we believe the summer is here. Come and check out Jerome and send us pics of all your gnome mm -hmm. fun because... Gnomes are safer at home.